Today I was getting the BMW 740 windshield replaced. And even before we got into the technician replacing the windshield, I had to pay for it before he did anything. And I was like, we gotta pay for it first? He's like, yeah. He said, we had a number of people who would get their windshields replaced and then dip and would not pay. So you're seeing this with something as mundane as windshield repair. Uh, you're seeing this with towing. A lot of towing companies will not take a credit card because people will have their car towed and then do a chargeback. What we're seeing is an explosion in petty crimes. And one of the reasons we're seeing an explosion, let's say I use safe light auto glass repair. Let's say they went after these people. This is what they would have to do. They would have to find out where they live, go to small claims court and sue them. And I'm gonna tell you, a lot of these people are really transient. So it's gonna be hard to get them served to even get them in the courtroom. And then you get them in the courtroom. Let's see, it's like 450 to replace the windshield. You could spend thousand dollars and the admin cost just filing a lawsuit so literally you're just throwing good money after bad so they just changed their policy to make sure that you know you gotta pay for it before they install the windshield what i see is an explosion in the underground economy because i never would have thought people would be stealing windshields or towing services, or I never would have thought that. But for, these are the social signals that we're seeing, that people are making off with this. People are stealing these things. People like, I need my windshield replaced, so I don't have the money. Like, take the fools who rented my car. They know, they knew that they didn't have the money. They knew they didn't have the money, which is why they disabled the GPS kill switch. And as I sit here, I'm thinking, what was their end game? Because I remember the night that he got arrested, he called me and he said, did you call the police? He was incredulous that I actually called the police. So you got my $20,000 vehicle. You're not paying for it. You're keeping me from it. What, what am I supposed to do? And this is part of that lower bottom half of society that just does stuff with little regard to the consequences because uh, I'm just looking. I am just looking at what is going on, what is happening right now. And it's gonna be bad for the next three to five years. It's gonna be bad. You're gonna have shootings. You're gonna have increased drug use. You're gonna have increased sex trafficking because in bad times, vices go through the roof. In good times, vices hang pretty steady, but in a bad time, because people are looking for an escape. So you can start to see what I like to call the secret societies. And um, since I'm into BDSM, that's a very large secret society. I feel that that is going to grow because you've got people out here who are struggling. They're gonna be looking for an escape. They're gonna be looking for something different. They're gonna be looking for something new. So that's gonna grow. Drug use is gonna grow. Alcohol consumption is gonna grow. Cigarette smoking is gonna grow. Weed smoking is gonna grow. So if you are positioned, and let me explain the markets. The, the, first, the first market is like when you go to the mall and you buy something from a store. That's the primary market. That's the largest market. The secondary market is when you go to Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, or somewhere like that, or eBay, and you buy something used. That's the second marketplace. Now, the third marketplace is the underground economy. And this is about to explode. It is about to explode. I, one of the girls I'm dating sells weed. She sells weed. And you know, her, her Monday through Friday job would denote nothing that she sells weed. And you're gonna have more and more people who are gonna be doing selling weed on the side, doing whatever they need to do to get some money. You're gonna have, it's going to be insane what's going to go on. 
And one of the things that I am seeing, like with the car rental business, I am seeing a lot of good rentals go bad. I got a guy in the Porsche, he's two days late, he's three days late, he's struggling. So I'm gonna have to turn it off and get the car back because this will continue. And you, you have people out there, I don't know what the situation is, but you know, when he was renting regular cars, he was never late. Now all of a sudden he's got this car, he's consistently late. And this is one of the things, like I don't have any, um, I do have one girl, I'm gonna send her the man leather because she's, she's got the 2005 Acura, which doesn't have a GPS kill switch on it, but it's the cheapest car I have. And she's ignoring messages and she hasn't paid in six days. So I'm just gonna file a police report, get her arrested. Because what you're seeing is those who don't have will take deep advantage of those who do have. Because, uh, you know, it's like he's got these cars, he's doing well. So what if I, you know, use the car and don't pay him? That's the thought process. That is what these people are thinking. Like the fool in the 740. He, he was shocked when I called the police because, you know, on the phone, he was like, I'm trying to pay you to that. I'm like, trying, trying. If you were going to pay me, you would have paid me. You don't have the money. And I told the cop to arrest him, which he did. And he's a convicted felon and he got caught with a weapon. That's a five year prison sentence in the state of Georgia. Oh, well. And one of the things that you will consistently see because I'm seeing this with the bottom social economic demographic. Bad habits, bad behavior, they continue. Like this guy's a convicted felon and he's still doing criminal stuff. He has not changed. And what is going to happen is this, this population is going to explode. A lot of people who never would have thought of stealing anything when times get hard, they're gonna steal. They're gonna take advantage. They're gonna cheat. They're gonna do whatever they can because they gotta meet their obligations. They got to do what they need to do. So you can expect a proliferation of this type of activity across the board. I mean, it is going to be, let's just put it this way. I'm glad I moved because See, this place is monitored. There's cameras everywhere. And what I have noticed is people tend to stay on the bad side of town. Yeah, there'll be a few people who will cross over and try to do something over here, but the majority of the criminal activity is in certain neighborhoods. And it's going to be, it's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts, man. Because I'm just sitting here People are stealing windshields because they don't have no money. They don't have no money. Now let's examine why these people don't have money. It all starts with behavior. When they get a good lick, <clears throat> what's the first thing they do? They take a vacation. They buy some weed. They buy some drink. They go party. They buy some new clothes. None of this money goes into an investment or even savings. They blow it all within a matter of weeks. When I was living in the hood, there was this girl whose grandmother died and this girl inherited like $400,000. She went through that money in six months. She bought a BMW. She was apparently dating the local drug dealer. She bought a brand new BMW. And then I saw it rolling around the neighborhood. This car was six months old. Bumper was messed up. Uh, the rear bumper was kind of hanging off. It had been in multiple accidents. And I'm just sitting there like, there is a pathology with this demographic where they will tear up some stuff. They cannot maintain or keep anything decent. They just simply can't do it. it it's not, with, it's just staying in them. It's just staying in them. So what is going to happen? Because um, what I'm getting ready to do I got someone, I, I'm, 
I should be getting some traction on the Camry. And then I got some other red cars I gotta work on. But what I'm seeing is consistently, my damaged cars come from the lower demographic. Consistently. Like the windshield. Uh, I was looking at the windshield and the guy was like, is a rock hit it? And I said, you look at that. He said, that looked like it was done deliberately. They broke the windshield because I got my car back. I want you to think about that. You got my car, you disabled the GPS kill switch. You're not paying me, but you get mad because I got, I want my car back. Dysfunction at its finest. Dysfunction, it is the, it is the root of dysfunction because normal decent people don't act like that. They will not take your property and keep it from you then get mad when you get your property back. Uh, this guy's an interesting piece of work. I'm probably gonna do an expose on him on The Lost Kings. The failure of a black man. Probably gonna do that because one of the things that I'm consistently seeing with young black men is a lack of grooming. They're not like bad people, but there's no seasoning, there's no grooming, they're, they're, they ain't nothing. They ain't nothing there. And one of the things that is going to happen as I go forward in the car rental business is I'm gonna start screening a lot harder because I'm to the point, I don't even rent to young people anymore because young people will take your car, mess it up and then bounce. No responsibility, nothing. They will just mess it up and bounce. So what, what are you gonna do if you're one of the haves? Let's talk about that. You need to arm up. You need to get yourself a gun because these people are gonna be breaking and entering. They're gonna be doing all kinds of stuff because they're desperate. They're desperate. And they're gonna be going into people's houses. They're gonna be messing with folks that get yourself a gun. Get yourself a concealed carry per permit and start going to the range. I don't want you to be in the position where you have to shoot someone, but I want you to think it's three o'clock in the morning, you're upstairs with your wife and you hear someone downstairs. That's gonna be the time they have a gun because they will break into your house. They will try to take your stuff. Um, I saw some of the water boys and there's numerous talks about the water boys. They're very aggressive trying to sell water. I thought this guy was going to throw a water bottle at my Porsche and his friend stopped him because I wouldn't stop and buy some water. I didn't want any water. So this is the mindset that you will see from the lower demographic that you have and I need. Forget the fact that you know, you went to school for 12 years. You busted your butt off at your corporate ladder. Now you got a good job that provides you a great lifestyle. Forget all that. Forget all that. They want what you have without doing the work. And this is going to be a big, big problem. This is one of the reasons that Buckhead is trying to succeed from Atlanta because there is more money here than in Atlanta. And they're trying to go ahead, they wanna do what Sandy Springs did. Like, since I'm very familiar with Sandy Springs, Sandy Springs has the latest and greatest technology because they have the money. Like, my assistant got hit and the cop was able to show her on camera the lady hitting her. They got that kind of technology. So what you're going to see is the wealthier uh, parts of the country are gonna have the latest and greatest. They're gonna have the best crime fighting tools because they're gonna need them. They're gonna need them. And then you're gonna have the outback where anything goes, where the underground economy is flourishing, where crime is going through the roof. I remember, and this was years ago, I was out by Old National and I went to the gas station 
and there was this dude who was standing on the corner and he started waving me down. He said, don't pump your gas, don't pump your gas. Let me use my car, you give me the cash. I'm like, he said, get as much gas as you want, just give me 50. So clearly this fool had someone's stolen credit card, which is why he was going to allow me to get gas and just give him 50. Cause he, he didn't, I was just like, no nah, man, I'm gonna pump my own gas. Because he's like, you show? Sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. And this was years ago. This type of scam, this type of criminal activity is going to go through. Credit card fraud is about to explode. White collar crime is about to explode because people have gotten smart. Why go break in someone's house with a gun and get 15 to 20 years when you can go ahead and do some credit card fraud and if you get caught, maybe get two years, maybe. So people are starting to smarten up. So you're gonna see a bunch of criminal activity. You're gonna see the underground economy explode. Um, like I said, you, you may find yourself a member of the underground economy like the girl I'm dating, she sells weed. And that, you know, she's like, I don't sell much, just enough to pay for my supply, you know? And I have a feeling that if she needed to sell more, she would. Because, you know, first of all, you're already selling weed. So it's not that big of a stretch to increase the amount of weed that you sell. Like, I don't really care. Uh, my ex, I used to be her supplier. I used to go out and get weed for her. I don't really care about that. But guys, get ready. Just get ready. You need to get you a gun. You need to get you a concealed carry permit. You need to learn how to use it because you're gonna have people who are gonna push the issue. You're gonna have people who are going to do whatever that like, what I'm finding out in the car rental business, like the people who rented my portion and sold it. I mean, one of the things you're going to consistently see is the underclass preying upon the middle class or the upper middle class, because in their mind, it's like, you got it. You good. I, I want to be good. So they, they're just going to try to take your stuff. I mean, like that just blew me away that I'm in this business and I'm finding out so many, you know, simple services. You never would think of someone who would get a tow then do a chargeback. But these people are financially pressed. They don't have no money. And without the stimulus money in the economy, you're gonna see a lot of chicks doing something strange for a little change. You're gonna see a lot of dudes doing something strange for a little, you know, a lot of dudes gonna be gay for pay. Yeah, I said that. They're gonna be gay for pay because they're gonna need that money. And they already a little freaky, so they ain't that big of a bridge for them to cross. But guys, prepare yourself. Start paying attention to the crime stats in your neighborhood. Um, there is a blotter in every, every jurisdiction that says what went on. Start paying attention to that. And if you notice an upward sp spike, you would know to stay out of that area because you know there are people who are getting shot there are people who are getting killed because they're in the wrong place at the wrong time so see an explosion in the underground economy see an explosion in crime because like i said these people don't have money and when you don't have money you get desperate and when you get desperate you do criminal things and this this is going to be It's going to be a it's going to be a season in America. It's going to be a winter season in America for a few years because with the global reset, you have a lot of people who are shifting down. You got people who live in the house, they'll be moving to an apartment, people live in an apartment, they'll be moving into a van, a homeless. You got a lot of people who are shifting down. And it is not going to reverse itself no time soon. Because with the removal of the stimulus money out the economy, that left a lot of people vulnerable. Like, once again, I look at my car rental business. I, I keep really well aware, like this one guy, 
He was always on time. Now he got a more expensive car. He's late. And I'm going to have to dehorse him because here's the thing. You're going to have to be ruthless in business because he has an asset that I get it back. It would instantly go out to someone else who would pay me. And this is one of the situations that I have brewing because uh, this week I've been a little ill. So we're getting past that. And it just it, it, it's just crazy what's about to happen. So arm yourself, be prepared, be vigilant, make sure that your house is secure if you can. Like one of the reasons I moved my house was impossible to secure. It had too many weak entry points. I mean, it was just a nightmare from a security standpoint. So be aware, go out there, protect yourself and be ready for whatever may come. This is Glendon Cameron, and I will see you guys in the next one.